Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to do a panorama using Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File and we're going to go down to Automate and then to Photo Merge. Right here we select our source files. So what you have to do is shoot a series of photographs and you kind of pan from left to right. You can do it handheld or you can do it with a tripod. Here are the shots I'm going to use. I actually did these handheld. Tripod can make it a little more accurate and a little more smooth. Uh, but if, if you're just doing this kind of, uh, you're out someplace and you decide you want a panorama, you might not have a tripod. So you can do it without a tripod. So once we select all the photos, we're going to hit OK. And it puts them in this box right here. Now on this side, there's layout and you have uh, an auto uh, layout uh, right here uh, or you can pick the type of layout that you use. Perspective is really for vertical um, panoramas. You can actually do a vertical panorama and it will correct the perspective for architecture and buildings and such. Um, cylindrical is um, it kind of sets it out in a cylinder and spherical is for like 360 but you, generally cylindrical or spherical either one of those will will work pretty well uh, collage and rep reposition um, it, it does less processing to it so on collage it uh, it, uh, it, it will rotate and s scale um, photographs but I don't think it stretches them in reposition, it doesn't stretch or skew them, uh, so uh, it, it, it doesn't correct for, neither of these two correct for a lot of things that these other two will correct for. So you can experiment on images and see which one that you use, that you, that you like best. I'm going to pick cylindrical in this case because I think that's going to work out uh, the best. Or we could pick auto and let it pick. Uh, you can always try it a couple of times to see which one works better or which one you like best on a particular image or set of images. There are a couple things that we can do down here. Uh, blend images together I think is checked by default and I think we want that um, checked. Uh, also I would suggest um, using the uh, geometric distortion correction and uh, because it, and uh, using content aware fill uh, for transparent areas at least that's what we're going to do in this demonstration and I'll, I'll kind of show you what the last one does this one with the uh, geometric distortion correction actually fixes some of the distortion you, you get uh, when you uh, pan the shot and such so we're going to hit OK and it takes a few minutes what it does is it it, it creates a layer for each image and then it readjusts the layer size so that it's the the full size for each image or, or it makes the size of the image for each image the full size the final image would be and then it creates masks for each image so that it can combine them into one image which we'll see in a second here all right so this is the completed image if you look down here over on the right you can see all the layers it created and all the masks it created and then it merged all of those layers together into this final image right here you can see around the edge here this uh, right here if I, if I uh, delete it this is how the image would be if it didn't um, fill in uh, so if you if we go back and undo deleting that this is the content aware fill right here. Now it did a really good job up in the sky because the sky is all blue. It did an okay job over here, but down here it put these bushes in instead of pavement. So you could do one of two things. You could go and you could um, go in and uh, try to retouch that yourself if you wanted to and kind of take the texture of the rest of the pavement and try to blend it in. Or what you could do is you could just crop the image. 
So you could take the crop tool and just crop that part out of the image. And then get your final image like that. So you could do either of those two things. So with the content aware fill, you've got to kind of try it on the image to see how well it works, but you can always do what I did and delete the uh, section where the content aware fill is or you can uh, just crop the image around any problems that you have, or you could try to correct any minor images that you have within Photoshop. So that's how you do a panorama in Photoshop. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.